Hey guys, Zero here, and sinkholes are out. I'm uh, just going to give you guys a quick port update, and then let's try and figure out what we're going to do. I haven't had a chance to check these out yet, but I've been doing a bit of reading about it. So here's the deal with my port right now. I still have three ships, but I expect that to change soon. I've just been, um, you know, all of my crew right now are pretty much from this region. Like I kept one guy who's pretty good from the last region, and um, but I'll get rid of him soon. It just kind of turns out that the new guys in this region are, are just way better, way better. So yeah, crew's all set up, my ships are all upgraded, and I've started to upgrade the various buildings around my port. So the new ship will be soon, soon, soon. Um, in the last few days I've gotten a bunch of pieces of of uh, the Forgotten Scrolls. I think I've gotten four pages in the last two or three days. So since since our last episode. Uh, trade goods. I've got a lot of spices, but I guess, you know, you'll go through those quickly. And then the other goods, I'm just kind of working towards. Plate, I haven't really had too many missions with, but I expect that will change eventually. So yeah, that's my, my port. But, so sinkholes are out. Um, pretty interesting so let's check out the news post quickly all right so hopefully we won't be on a high population server because it looks like people are having trouble getting in okay let's see uh-huh so who do we need to talk to let's start with that we'll just dive right in speak to Thalsar in the Fremenic camp on Damonheim Peninsula for details as well as a free teleport very nice and it gives the location. So I've checked this part out too. Um, and it lists all the cards here. These are pretty cool. Uh, so far they show 11 different cards. Which is actually quite a few. Given that the, there only seems to be like one round to this. It's just very quick. Bang, bang, bang. So um, the cards are very cool. I like the ones that are kind of random. Like this guy. Um, the Beguiling Smoke Devil card. The Confusion Smoke Devil will cause or the confusion smoke devil will cause confusion uh huh <laughs> and randomize all the players chests in the process awesome i love it <laughs> i love that card um so these two cards appear to do the same thing except to different players the one ranked above you and the one ranked below you i think if i understand that right pretty cool there thieving locust trades your chest yep very cool um i like this one too the bunyip will randomly generate a card for you which is played immediately so if you're screwed, if you, if you don't have much to go on, maybe if you're in last place and you're like, well, let's just, you know, do something crazy. Um, that might be a fun card to play, but I don't think it'll be very strategic most of the time. I do like the Scavenger Meerkat. If you're in first place and you ha have already secured a good prize, like if it comes around to you and you've got like a, the huge XP lamp, well, you can just, you know, scurry around, find the medium lamp and just toss it in your chest with the huge one. That's pretty neat. Protection Titan works just like I thought it would, more or less. Uh, Preening Ibs, yeah, that's for um, cosmetic stuff. I like the Phoenix one too. It's a, it's a reversal card. Whatever was played last, you can reverse. Very neat. So if someone steals your, your huge lamp or your large lamp or whatever, and then it's your turn, right, um, you can play that. So that, again, shows the benefit of acting uh, later in the round. Pretty cool. Shows a bunch of the locations as well, but we won't go through that. Maybe I can look at that another time. So let's go check it out. I'll be right back with you guys over in, over in uh, Demonheim. All right, here we are. So, uh, oh look, there's, these look like more tents. Were all these tents here before? I mean, I don't really come up here too often to do. Uh, engineering so I actually expect that I won't do very well in this but we'll give it a try there's a teleport option here the sinkhole won't appear for another minute oh another minute that's perfect timing yeah let's go I want to see this sinkhole okay so we're over in what is this Karamja no oh right here oh, maybe I'll do my mining rock after that's kind of handy I'm excited to see this. I want to see like the earth just cave in and this sinkhole appear. That would be awesome. And there's not a whole lot of people. Oh, there there it is. That's uh 
That's not a sinkhole. <laughs> All right. In we go. Oh man, the Garajo, Garajo Horde Stalker looks awesome. I wish I wish his coins and cards would be in different planes, but that looks really wicked. Okay, I'm just going to enter this. You're carrying items. Okay, let's bank these quickly. Here we go. I guess I'll mage today. Okay, and we're off. So our objectives are fish, uh, exploratory totems, oh I got a card, nice, what is it, whimsical bunyip, oh that's the random one, that could be fun, uh, combat totems, okay I gotta kill people too. spell am I casting? And we have six minutes left. So far my rank is blank. Everyone seems to have the same rank. Okay. So our primary objective seems to be raw fish, so I'm gonna focus on that. If possible. Got another card. Trading Mantis. Okay, so that allows me to trade up with whoever's ahead of me. Which could be handy. We're definitely going to use some of these cards. Or at least, I guess, one. Oh, get that combat totem. All right, let's see here. I think we just got to stay really active. Exploratory totem. So the doggy. Okay, I think I'm going to deposit this stuff, just to see, let's deposit. We certainly don't want to, okay, someone already deposited, now I'm ranked 5th, I better hurry up. Okay, now I'm ranked 3rd, but, oh wait, 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 go back this way, that one's been... Oh, that's the treasure room. Okay, we can't get in there yet. I gotta find a room that hasn't been really picked over. That could be tricky at this point. Oh, that's kind of an interesting... Uh, an interesting wrinkle, is that if you go back too early, then it's gonna be hard for you to catch up to anyone. And do anything. Okay, raw fish is done. We don't need any more raw fish. We need exploratory totems. That check mark, I'm pretty sure that's what it means. No, don't need fish. Quit getting fish. There's a bank. Can I deposit? Oh, I can just deposit here. Oh, that's handy. Okay. That's actually really good to know. I didn't know that before. So you probably don't want to deposit at the Horde Stalker because that would take too long. What's that? Hmm. Some weird thing. I'll have to check that out in the video later on to get a good look at it. Combat totem, yes please. Let's see if I can find a, another chute to drop that in. And that's all we're looking for now is combat. That's a dead end.
All right, we got two minutes. I think I'm just going to go back because this thing's been picked over quite nicely. And I want to get my totem in before it's over. Ranked fourth. That's not very good. Okay, we're we're done. I don't even think I got that in. Fourth place. Okay, so what cards do I have? I have two cards. Trading Mantis, Whimsical Bunyip. I'm going to play the Bunyip. It's just going to be fun. Okay, I've got the Dungeoneering tokens. That's probably a good one. I don't mind that. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, man. What is he doing? Oh, I got the pack yak. Is there a <laughs> setting up with a medium lap? All right. <laughs> Let's see what plays out here. I think that guy missed his turn the first one. Meerkats. They're going to take somebody's medium lamp. Who has the medium lamp right now? I think it's this guy, doesn't he? That's what it looks like. Preening Ibs. And there we go. Okay, so I got a medium lamp for my pack yak. Um, you know, maybe a slightly below average prize, unfortunately. Let's see what we got here. Huge lamp and an armor piece. That frozen or froze guy seems to know what he's doing. So pretty cool. Um, I like the uh, I like the second half of this game. The first half is quick. You know, it's nice and and you just get it over with. The second half of this game, I I wish they would do more than one round. You know, maybe if they made the cards more available, so you had different cards, and maybe just two rounds or or something like that. I don't know, but uh, one round, very quick. Um, I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. Let's see what we got for our experience. 15k. That's like the most engineering experience I've had in a while. All right. Well, that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, maybe we'll get up to something again soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching, and I will talk to you next time.